We still haven't found the Great Marsh Waypoint yet, so we're going to keep traveling in the Great Marsh until we find it. I hear skull. Okay, I can make a skull. Tyrion. Another Tyrion. Cool. Diamond. Make a dime. Oh my god. Oh god, I can make a flawless diamond. And I can make a. Oh, I could already make one. Um, gotta keep going till we find the freaking thing. There's a flare trying over there. No, it's still here, Marsh. Okay, so. Keep sticking to this one side. I think eventually if I go back there, I'm going to reach the flare jungle again. What the hell? This has to be the way, right? To the Great Marsh waypoint, I mean. There we go! Found the Great Marsh waypoint. That was near a dungeon, right? Actually, is it? It's just right in the crap middle of nowhere. I think it's because the, um, like everything in the freaking jungle, um, the waypoint will be randomized. Every time you reach a dead end, the waypoint could be there, but it wasn't randomized to that location. So you have to look for it somewhere else. Which is rather annoying. I would say at least part of the of Act Three is one of the most annoying parts of this game. I wouldn't say the entire act is annoying, just the jungle parts of Act Three. Just because it's so confusing how everything is linked together. Alright, now we are in the Flare Jungle. So like with the the uh, Spider Forest, there will be a waypoint um, at one point with a unimportant dungeon. And then a 
in the important dungeon uh, with the um, with no waypoint. Also, you have to find the get bed. half hour. Probably what I'll do is I'll play until I reach the um, the either the flare dungeon or the other one. The other uh, the other similar dungeon. I guess the swampy pit. That's because going through the player dungeon will take a while, and I'm not going to do that. At least not right now. And then the other one, I, I'm just going to off-screen it, so either way. Oh, wait. God, he killed. They killed my golem. Oops. Uh. Oh, good stuff. Player jungle waypoint. And over here is the swampy pit. Swampy Pit. Okay, I'm gonna off screen that, but not right now. I want to make my goal amount of something interesting, but. Where's the census? There it is. Uh, there we go. Let's look at that. Oh. Oh. Get it out of here. It's not even worth selling for anything. You'll get maybe 200 gold on that. That's why. Actually.
Um. I'll try to sign something for me. Um. Something I could technically do to make room in inventory is like start destroying items that are in the in the inventory for iron golems. Like they would become very powerful iron golems. Only problem is if I die, then the golem is gone forever. As are the or the item. Or as is the item that I use to make it. Gidbin or the Flare Dungeon could be over there. Okay, the Gidbin's over here. I play this game so many times I can I can tell where something is. I uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is the Gidbin. Never doubt. It's always the first thing you think of. So this is the Gidbin. The Gidbin will summon a bunch of strong-ish enemies. Oh, there's the Flare Dungeon down there. Okay. So Gidbin is by the Flare Dungeon. So let's just activate it now. Actually, no. I'm not going to activate it yet. Dungeon, Kidbin, over there. Awesome. B, X. You made a funny sound. Is there, is there anything over there? Is it just the stamina uh, shrine? Oh, there is something over here. Okay. Why do you guys make funny sounds? to go actually. Okay, let's go over here. Whoa. I can't 
Oh, jeez. One, two, three. Okay, I think we've explored all of the the area here. Oh, we need more skeletons. Oops. I can't kill you anymore. Sigh. I can't use this yet. Bone armor. Gotta have my bone armor. Oh shoot. Alright, I don't want to go that the the north direction yet because that's probably where the next portion of the jungle is. So get in here. I can really give in. Once you do that, it will summon a bunch of flares in a random part, and they will drop the Gibbon. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get the Gidbin. I'm then going to take the... After we get the Gidbin back in our thing. Oops. And give it to Ormus. Um, I'm going to take the... The waypoint to the other portion of the... The jungle, so I can go through the swampy pit off camera. Uh, get Ben. This is a powerful weapon. Perhaps Ormus can tell me more about it. I am overburdened. Okay. Take the M get Ben to Ormus. Can I say? I don't really recall the, um, uh, oops, I don't really re recall the characters talking so much in the original Diablo. Do they add text stuff in this game? Uh. Player Dungeon. Okay, so. I'm going to have to walk out of the thing and not use the waypoint. That way I can portal back there. Ormus. You have done well, noble hero. Ormus congratulates you. The old spirits of Skatsim will watch over you for returning their sacred blade. Now, 
After all these years, Ormus will once again use his powers to protect the innocent from the shadow. The spell that protects the dark side shall now be reinforced. This magic ring does me no good. Here, wear it proudly. Thank you. Nice. Okay, I like that. Ah, stop it. Okay, I'm gonna go. Hold on. I'm gonna go talk to Karatli about it real quick. He was the one who gave me the quest. Hey, hello. Yes. What? Really? We'll find that the Zacharomites have the persistence of zombies, but without the curse. <laughs> he's voiced by James Wong, who does a ton of different voices. I think he's voiced by James Wong. Um, 16. Okay. Player Jungle. Alright. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to go through the swampy pit. Um, and then uh, next time we'll go through the Flare Dungeon. See you guys next time. Bye. Hello. I beat that other thing. So now I'm back here. Alright. Uh... This is the Flare Dungeon, and we're looking for the Kaleem's brain. What's that mess? B, 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 X. A. Don't kill my golem. Ah. Is it socketed or? Everything's face. Uh. Oh, shoot. One, two, three. Come, my friends. Ow. I don't even have to do anything. My freaking minions will do everything for me. Just sit back here and continue summoning things. Blow them back. Water Watcher. It's the wa it's the watcher in the water from Lord Grace. Um Oh, that's so cool.
Because I don't want her to die. I think I've never healed her in the console version because I didn't know how to do it. You press the, the L2 button and then press one of the potion buttons and it feeds your your buddy a uh, potion. Yeah. 